Hello, my name's Joel Dunning, a thoracic surgeon from James Cook University Hospital in Middlesbrough in the United Kingdom. So I'd just like to share my experience with you with this amazing uh, art essential wristed instrument uh, and maybe just give you a few uh, of my views on how to start with the instrument in your practice. First of all, the minute you put this in your hand, you are going to fall in love with it. Just the ability to have that wristed instrumentation in your endoscopic surgery is just so wonderful. Um, I would just like to highlight, I cannot tell you how important it is to practice. Remember, this is a wristed instrument, but it's half wristed and half endoscopic. So it is so important that you do as much training and practice as you possibly can. Because if you want to get over here, you're going to have to move away from it and then move uh, the wristed instrument towards it. So please do spend many hours just practicing at home, uh, uh, on your, on your kitchen table with your left hand with your right hand use the videos we're providing to do that practice so now you're coming to that most exciting time it's your first case uh, I'd really strongly recommend your first case just use one instrument. Don't try and use two straight away. You can use two straight away in your practice. It's fantastic with two, but the first case, just use one. Secondly, don't try and use it for the whole case necessarily. You know, you can get a bit, you know, it's just your first case. It's, you know, a little bit getting used to it and moving around. And uh, if you just do 30 minutes, you know, get the feel of it, what it looks like in the chest, getting around, do that key step. You've all always wanted a wristed instrument for, but maybe do it, then just take it out and use your normal instruments. That's one real advantage of Art Essential. You can take it out, go straight back to your normal endoscopic instruments, but don't spend three hours uh, using it all the time because, you know, your brain will just get full. So first case, one instrument, do 30 minutes, take it out and high five, you'll have done a great job. Another really good tip is that uh, you shouldn't use it just like a robotic instrument. You should feel free to use all the other instruments that you normally use. So think about the steps you want to use it for and think about the steps you don't. Uh, so, uh, and the really great thing about it is you've now opened up a whole world of wristed instruments to your more minor operations. You don't just have to use this, opera this for your biggest operations. You can use it for a quick pleural biopsy. You can use it for a quick procedure that just takes 30 minutes. Uh, so, so, you know, there's a whole new world out there of wristed instruments that, you know, have been closed to us because it was always too much effort to get the robot out. One wonderful thing that you're going to really enjoy uh, is being by the patient's bedside. Um, I had quite a lot of anxiety about the fact that uh, when I'm coming to the patient, maybe I'm not going to be able to reach over far enough uh, because maybe I won't be able to use the wristedness from a far distance. But don't be too worried about that. I initially tried to have them very straight on, but actually pr if you practice at home having your hand sort of quite far away from you with the instrument coming towards yourself, you know, you can really get over that anxiety because you can spread your hands quite widely and work inwards and still successfully use these wristed instruments. Of course another really good tip is if you don't like your port placement just change it. That's one problem uh, in a robotic operation. Uh, you've, you're stuck with the ports you're stuck with unless you want to unscrub back up and change them. Whereas with Art Essential, if you don't like your port positioning, just change your port position. Uh, that's a real nice advantage of it. And I suppose the final thing is just enjoy it. Uh, share your videos, always video every single operation you do. Share it with us, let's all learn together. There's a brand new world of surgeon powered robotics out there. We can learn how to do things as good as a massive expensive robotic system, but just using these. So let's use our robotic camera holders. Yes, let's use 3D cameras. Let's use surgeon powered robotics uh, in our endoscopic practice to do our whole practice. Uh, with wristed instruments. So from me, best of luck. I genuinely would love to see your videos, so please do video them, edit them together, send them to us, uh, and let's all learn together. Thank you very much. Music